working in Globo.com for five years. First, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm an electronic engineer, graduated at Federal University of Rio de Janeiro. Uh, three years ago, I started to take my master's degree with Valdemar, and I just finished uh, two weeks ago. And my dissertation was modeling the Copacabana sidewalk pavement and this is the final result obtained. So, in the year th that the city of Rio de Janeiro turned heritage and Copacabana uh, uh, 120 year years old, nothing more fair than the world's most famous sidewalk would be a, a thing for my dissertation. So, Copacabana sidewalk is so famous that it is used in many kinds of things like clothes, advertisement, burners, and publicity and uh, accessories. But until now, none of this drawing represents exactly the, the waves of the sidewalk. So, the Copacabana sidewalk is a kind of Portuguese pavement. This kind of pavement is created by setting black and white stone in general in a harmonic way, revealing distinctive patterns. In this picture, we see a real example of Portuguese pavement found in Portugal. Portuguese pavements are a kind of ops palladium mosaic where tiles with irregular shape are used to convey image in an expressive manner. So our goal was to create an unsupervised method to modeling the Copacabana sidewalk pavement and Portuguese pavement in January. There are several proposed in literature for digital mosaics, but looking the sidewalk, we can note a few distinct features that the stones present mostly irregular quadrilateral shapes, the region bounds are perfect perfectly honored, and the stones are, are placed with arbitrary orientation except near the bound, so there's no orientation. Uh, some of the related work about m mosaics is since ancient times, and is composed by small colored tiles with irregular or regular shapes. And is an image made by cementing together these small tiles. So digital mosaics intends to reproduce the aesthetic essence of art by means of computational tools. So our belly used that vernal diagram from randomly placed generating points. And in 2002, the base integrated that information to the vernal diagram. Hausner used the centroidal vernal diagram with uh, Manhattan-like matrix and used uh, graphic hardware acceleration with a square, square base pyramid with apps on the seed points. In 2005, Faustino and Figueiredo also published a paper 
in this conferencing graph, where they use, uh, also use the di Voronoi diagram with a density function to adapt the size of the tiles according to the features of the source image. Uh, de Blasi and Gallo also used Voronoi diagram and they extracted the guidelines, then filled the distance transform matrix and computed the corresponding gradient matrix used to guide the tile placement, getting very good results. Uh, also in 2005, Fritz implemented an interactive tool using centroid of Voronoi diagram with Lloyd method. At last but not least, Passes and Walter also published a paper on SIBGRAPH in 2008 where they create mosaics on 3D surface with um, arbitrary shape styles using physically basic relaxation methods. Although expressive, none of these techniques can be directly employed to reproduce the Portuguese pavement. Bec uh, the simplicity of the source image, uh, although in our case uh, we have a simple source image, but this simplicity cannot lead to a natural place stone placement. So, our proposed method. The input of our method is a black and white source image like this. And the output is the geometry of the stones, a list of the vertex co coordinates. So our method consists of three steps. First, we compute the corresponding distance field. Then we compute the centroid of our diagram. And finally, extract and adjust the stone shapes. Distance field is the distance from any point in the domain to the closest edge. As an example, this is a black pixels and white pixels. So first, we initialize each pixel value of the distance field as a huge number, like width versus height. And then we compute the, the border like this. If there exists a different color on horizontal or ver vertical adjacent pixels, we set the distance value 2.5. If there is this only on diagonal, we put 0 0.700, the 707. So to fill the missing values, we apply a, a chamfer distance transform using the quasi-Euclidean 3 by 3 chamfer type with this mask, where here is the pixel we are calculating the distance. So is, uh, this method is based on two steps. First, we search the, the image from bottom to top, left to right. And using that mask, we populate th these values. And after, we do from top to bottom, right to left, getting the final distance values for the pixel. And the result is that image of the distance field. The next step is to calculate the centroid Voronoi diagram. There, we use graphical hardware acceleration to efficiently compute the diagram. And the final cells of the CVD are used to model the stone shapes. H will represent the average half of each stone size. 
and we calculate the number of stone having this number and the image resolution. So to calculate the CVD, we use an interactive method, Lloyd's algorithm, that first randomly distributes the generic points in the domain. Then at each pass, we compute the Voronoi diagram. The, then this, we compute the center of mass for each result in Voronoi cells and use this point as a new corresponding generation point. This method produces a stable diagram after a few interactions that I will show you later. Conventional CVD tends to result in a regular exadral grid of cells. So we, instead of using count, we use fruston of pyramid with round corner. Each fruston is assigned to a color and create is created based on an X-aligned rectangle. And for each generating point, a different rectangle is created, choosing randomly a scale fake, fake factor. So the main challenge here is to choose the initial rectangle size of each first cap. Why? Because if we choose uh, small, if the size is too small, the, the cap can be replaced to a point and the fruston is replaced to a cone, having the conventional CVD. On the other hand, if uh, we choose a too large number size, the fruston overlapped and we have no more diagram. So we choose to use a value proportional to age. After computing the uh, center of mass of each cell, we do not allow that the minimum distance to the closest edge should be less than 1.5 the age. And to ensure that cells across edge meet each other on the edge, we first calculate the corresponding gra gradient using the Sobel operator and use the distance field gradient to set a rotation angle that aligns the cells with the edges. And the other tiles we align with uh, the 2D parallel noise distribution. So here is an example for the, the algorithm. Initial, configura initial configuration, one interaction after five, 10, 15, and 20. So the final step in our method is the extraction of the point. So first we identify the vertex. Given the, a pixel and the, his three adjacent pixels, we check if there is three or more pixels with different color. If so, this pixel is a, a vertex of each polygon adjacent point. F for the pixels along the border, we do the same thing, but only consider the two adjacent pixels. And the four corners are also a vertex. After we have the list of vertex, we compute the center of max of each polygon and then sort the incidence to get a cyclic counter clause sequence based on the angle of the vector from the center of mass to each vertex, having these results. 
after we convert the, the number of vectors per point to four doing we eliminate angles greater than delta by moving the vector to the segment connecting the previous and the next vertex in the vector list polygon having a better result then but vernal cells do not perfect honor regions bounds so we move along the distance fields gradient towards the edge all vertices whose corresponding source image color difference from the color associated to the point center of mass. That's it. So we move this vertex to here. This procedure moves vertex that are shared by all adjacent points, so we don't have overlapping. Now we consider each point in isolation, replace, replicating the shared vectors and extract the final list of vertex coordinates. So vectors associated with a wide angle is not long, longer considered. And then we shrink the polygon. Having this. Finally, we assign black and white color to each stone based on the source image color associated to the center of mass. Our results. We use the same parent values to all the results that I'm going to show. So the average half stone size we set to four. The scale factor, factor va uh, varies from 0 0.5 to two. And the number of interactions to compute the CVD was 20, and the wide angle limit is 120. So from this source image, we obtain this result, the Copacabana Beach, and a larger image. We can see in this histogram that initially, after the compute of the CVD, we have a vertex per point. We have polygon having six, five, seven vectors. And then after our procedures, the most is four. This is a, a real pavement, sidewalk pavement in Lisbon, and we obtain this result. Now I'm, show, I'm going to show a few drawings that we, we made for a flower. We transform in Portuguese pavement, a guitar. The statue of Christ. And this picture we have for thou thousand and eighty six points. Another one. And the piece. So, as I said, we use the same set of parameter values in all this image. So we can consider our math is unsupervised and quite stable. But may be desired to adjust a few of these parameters to get different arrangements. Here is an example choosing a constant scale factor. And we uh, can see that we ob obtain the, the side of the stones are very similar to each other. A few limitations. So comparing the CVD based on a primitive drawing 
impose that the result occurrence is limited by the frame buffer resolution. Even with off-screen render buffer, the solution do, do not scale to large domain. Consequently, the maximum number of stones are, is also limited. So you see here that if uh, we set to H less than three, we degrade the shapes of the generation stones. Conclusions. So we have created a new method for modeling, mosaic modeling, and we achieved our goal that was mimic the Portuguese pavement, especially the Copacabana Beach sidewalk pavement with its famous waves. The stones completely follow the, the edge, being most represented by regular quadrilaterals with no particular orientation except near the bound. Our method was, is stable and was applied a variety of drawings. So as future work, we plan to implement the entire algorithm in the GPU, investigate a procedure to generate realistic procedure test in real time, rendering the of Portuguese pavement taking into account deterioration with time and imperfection of the stones, and apply the proposed method to colored image. Thank you for your attention. Thanks, Tatiana. Do you have time for one question? What is your Voronoi diagram computation method? What? Uh, what is your method for computing the Voronoi diagram? What? Uh? What is your method? What? Como method? Uh, Lloyd algorithm. No, ma but for computing the Voronoi diagram and not the centroid one. Oh, the Voronoi. We. I first randomly set generation points in the image, and then we draw cones. Okay, thank you. 